there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Be responsible for your own life. Be responsible for your own life. This is, this is very important for a man. You know, uh, I'm well known for not really, well not, not even saying that really, not tolerating, tolerating that victim mentality because I can't stand it when I hear men saying, oh, they're doing this to me, oh, they are doing this. These women, they forcing me to be alone, or these guys are taking away my rights and everything, or I can't do something because of them. Ultimately, a man is responsible for his own life. No matter what everyone else does or try to do to you, it's up to you to be responsible for your reaction to it. People can do anything. They can roast you. They can even attack you. It's up to you what you're going to do. If someone attacks you physically, what are you going to do? You're going to let them beat you up or are you at the minimum going to fight back? And I'm saying at the minimum. They might still beat you up, but you got to let them know, hey, <laughs> they've been in a fight. You got to let them know. Or if somebody's, a, if somebody's roasting you or something, you can even laugh with it like, yeah, whatever, or roast them back. Or if we going through life, just life, not even dealing with women. I'm going to get into the women part because there's a lot of guys blaming women for everything. But let's just say in life, in life, you're responsible for what you do in life. Nobody's stopping you from getting another job. Nobody is stopping you from getting a certification or education to do the things you need to do. Nobody's stopping you from getting, uh, at least starting a business. Now, yes, there's going to be some times you're going to fail. There's some times you're going to have some setbacks, but it's still you got to be responsible for how that happened. You got to take responsibility and stuff, because at the very least, you have a responsibility in your reaction. See, you can't blame others. You got to look within. You got to say, okay, what can I do different? How can I respond to this differently? You can't put yourself in a, a subservient position where you feel like you're powerless. Like with women, you got guys out there thinking, oh, the women this and the women that. Okay, so what are you doing to change that? What are you doing? A lot of guys try to change what women are thinking, but you got to change what you're thinking. Because once you change your thoughts, which you have 100% control over, then you can handle no matter, you can handle whatever a woman throws at you. This is very important. It's just called being responsible. Responsible. Like, you take responsibility for something. It's like a good manager. It's like a good military officer. It's like a good sports coach. Like a good coach. That's a, that's a great example. Yeah, their team. His, his guys went out there, they didn't do their job, or they lost. A really good coach, or great coach, they'll say, no, nah, that was on me. That was on me, because the coach is thinking, okay, what could I have done to prepare them to play better? How could I have motivated them better, or used their talents in a correct way? And see, the thing is, it's all about sovereignty. See, sovereignty, you know, I can talk about making money and having control over something, but you got you, sovereignty also means you take 100% responsibility for yourself, for what's going on. You know, if you having trouble meeting women or you having trouble, all this trouble with women, the only thing every single woman, every single one of those women have in common is you. If you having trouble getting a job or you keep getting fired, you keep failing in business, even if it's different businesses. Let's use the business angle. You tried three different businesses. They all failed. What did they all have in common? You. You. And see, once you take that mindset that you're going to take 100% responsibility for your life, then you're going to find you have power. It means you can do something. It means you can make the change. If you keep uh, uh, being uh, responded to the same way by women and you say, well, wait a minute, I'm the only thing that these women have in common. What is it I'm doing? You'll find that it'll change. You'll find that they will change in response to your changes. You're taking power now. You are taking power now. That's the thing. That is the thing. You're taking power. 
if you're talking about how you're making money and you keep getting fired from jobs or you can't or you underemployed, whose fault whose fault is that? If if different businesses don't hire you or different or you keep failing in business, you're the only thing that they have in common. You have the power to change that. That's the important thing. Now, once you think about it, once any for any man as uh, watching this, think about the times you've taken responsibility for your own self. You didn't blame everybody else because, see, here's the thing: when you blame outside forces, you're powerless. You're powerless because then you're asking them to change, but they're not going to change. They're going to keep going. Some of the, some some of these forces are going to be malicious. You know, you can go on a job and, you know what, you can do a great job, but you just didn't get along with the manager. Or they didn't like you for whatever reason and stuff. Do you get mad at that manager? Or do you say, look, I'm going to do something about it? Like if they coming at you wrong, are you going to step to human resources and take responsibility? Or even get in their face and say, hold up, this is going to be a problem. Or are you going to say, you know what, I'm having a problem here. Let me go get another job where they're going to treat me and pay me what I'm worth. You take responsibility. The very nature of man is to be sovereign in at least his own boundary, to take control of his, over his life. That's why we're even possessive in our relationships, because that's our nature, to have our boundary but you're fully responsible for it. You're living, you want to, as a man, you want to live according to your will. Because when you're not, you're living according to someone else's will and they will have you doing all everything for their benefit. And let's just be real, we have a whole society like that. This is a very important, I want y'all to understand this. I want y'all to understand this. You have to be responsible. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. If you want anything in life, it's your responsibility to make it happen. Your responsibility. No ifs, ands, and buts. And you will fight. It's, it's, a, it's the path to power. You have power. You live in according to your will. Always understand that. So if you, you want to make money, if you want to make money, you got to take responsibility. I make the money I make now because I took responsibility. I didn't wait for somebody else. I say, no, nah, this is what I want to do. I'm going to learn the skills, develop the skills I need for it. When I'm dealing with women, I deal with them on my terms. I don't say, oh, this woman's this, this woman is that. The only thing they have in common is me. So I said, okay, what is it within me? Because I can't control the outside. I can't control them, but I can control my reaction to them with everything with everything. If you're a father, you have young children, you have children, older children. What are you doing to raise them correctly? Don't say, oh, this society did this and that. No, a father or a parent in the home has the greatest influence on that child. People trying to say, oh, it's this and that. No, it's you. That's one thing I can't stand when parents say, oh, this society did this and that. They spend, the children spend the most time with you. And that's, that's a whole other conversation. I'm about to go in a whole different direction. But that's responsive. That's an example of being responsible. Every single man watching this needs to be responsible for his own life. And there's no excuses. The second you come up with excuses, you've already lost. You have the power within you. All right? So that's all I have for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.